Hey guys, today is Monday and I am in the process of cleaning the table off because it just needs it. I've been washing clothes all day. I've got three loads to fold. I'm done with the washing. I have one thing to put in the dryer, but it's Noah's blanket. Well, I may go ahead and wash our blankets here in the living room, mine and Jeff's. But anyway, Noah has a blanket in the washer. So I need to redo the menu plan because I haven't done it yet. And I was checking to see if that would come off easily. And it does not, which makes me happy. Because that means I can touch it all throughout the month and it won't come off much. <laughs> it stays. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do that too. I have went ahead today and recorded all three of my planner videos. That way, while Jeff is off, I don't have to worry about it. He uh, stayed in bed longer than I did today. So while he was asleep, I was doing YouTube things. I was editing a video and the I was editing the weekend vlog. <laughs> That's what that is. And um, filming. Yeah, that's what I did. Um, and washing clothes. But I need to get the table finished cleaned off so I can fold those things. Did I say Jeff was changing oil in the truck and car? He did that. Um, and I need to empty the dishwasher and reload it. And I think I need to put some jet dry in there. Because there's some things in there that are not. They don't seem to be dry. So, let me get my tripod, oh, the camera, on it. Because toting it around like this, there's no telling how dizzy I'm making y'all. But, let me get it on here, get the table done, get those clothes folded, and get those other things going. And let's, I'm just, I gotta get to doing things. Even though I've been doing things since I got up. And I don't know what we're having for supper tonight. We're supposed to have sliders, but I don't know if we're gonna have like ham and turkey sliders, or if we're gonna have like the little crystal sliders, like the ones, you know, that I make with the ground beef. I don't know what I'm doing. I've also got ground beef I need to put away. So, I'll be back. She didn't love you back, love you back. All she did was leave a hole in your chest. You didn't get that job.
To fill out this I went ahead and erased it whenever I was cleaning the table I'm gonna use the pink pen this time what you think about the pink pen Jeffrey mm -hmm. yeah why are you supposed to see it do what I can't see this they can't see what I'm doing that's better what are you looking at it's 76 degrees in here. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be less than that. But it's hot outside. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just do it one by one. We went out to eat on Saturday. Two days have already gone by, so. Um, we went to a, a barbecue on Tuesday. Oh, no, not Tuesday, Sunday, the second. All right. Oh, and something else I want to tell y'all. The second thing that we got rid of on the second was a TV because we had an extra, so we're giving it to somebody. We already know who we're giving it to. Have not picked the three things for the third yet. Jeffrey, have you got any things you want to give away? You just got rid of some trash. But would you have been getting rid of this trash no matter what? That doesn't count then. Now, if it's something that you find that you have that's something you didn't know was broken and you decide to get rid of it and throw it away instead of try to keep it because it's broken, it's different. Um, we don't have many of those things, do we? The clothes hanger was not planned. One of my clothes hangers broke that I had bought from Brandless a long time ago. Anyway, today we're having sliders and I don't know if I said this or not. I don't know if we're having ham and cheese or turkey and cheese or whatever or if we're having like burger sliders like crystal burgers don't know which one we're gonna have tomorrow Jeff have we ever decided what we were having tomorrow because we left it blank okay. so figure out what you want all right the fifth we're having grilled thighs if the electricians are gone and we can if they are not gone what are we gonna do just have that instead of the potato soup on the 6th because we'll take it out and put it in the refrigerator the thighs we'll take them out and put it in the refrigerator to thaw and we'll just replace it if we have to the 7th we'll have a meatloaf the 8th we're having breakfast for dinner but we may not be here if we go to the river so that's Friday, not Saturday. The eye doctor will have a meatloaf that day. All right, the night, we're having the butterfly tenderloin. How soon do you need to take that out of the freezer for it to thaw? I'm gonna put tenderloin butterfly, because I wrote too big. What if we decide to go to the river on that day, though? What if we decide to go to the river on that day, though? You'll be at work. Oh, you don't. So, okay, we may have that Monday then. All right, the tent is stroganoff. We may be at the river on that Monday. <laughs> We're going to become river rats. The 11th is fajitas. The 12th. Salisbury steak that I already have made as a freezer meal, but we haven't eaten. We need to eat. We have to eat it this month because I want it out of my freezer. The 13th is chicken tenders. The 14th, going right, the 15th, is spaghetti. And the 15th is Manwich. Seriously, though, Jeff, we need to figure out when we're going to take it out of the freezer for it to thaw. How long does it take? 
Do we need to do it today or tomorrow? Or the next day? The tenderloin. The butterfly tenderloin. Alright, the 16th is burgers. We're supposed to cook it on Sunday. But we may not because we may not be here. We may do it Monday. The 17th is grilled chicken. Okay. The 18th is tacos. The 19th, I still write too big for this thing, is black eyed peas and fries and cornbread. I'm going to put peas and cornbread. No, I'm going to put peas and fries. That's what I'm going to put. It don't matter. The 20th is breakfast for dinner. 21st is hoppin' john soup because we're having the black eyed peas. And we have sausage in the freezer. I'm not going to put soup because I didn't wrote too big. And then 22nd, we're grilling something. We don't know what. We just put grill on there. 23rd is lazy lasagna. 24th is grilled chicken again. Twenty fifth is enchiladas, the ones we have in the freezer. Twenty sixth is steak. That's mine and Jeff's anniversary. Twenty seventh is barbecue, like barbecue baked potato or something. We have um, Boston, but already smoked. Twenty eighth is grilled chicken again. Do we do that on purpose? We have so much chicken. The 29th is breakfast. Breakfast for dinner. Which we may not be home. We don't know. We don't know what we're doing on weekends anymore. What am I doing? That is not right. I wrote the date that I see up top. The 30th and the 31st. That's the last two days. Chili and manwich. That's our mini plan for the month of July. Done. No, I have to think about it anymore. We didn't put camp stew back on here because we don't know when we're going to be able to cook that because of the rain and stuff. Jeffrey, you didn't ever tell me what we're going to have the fourth. Tomorrow. What do you think you might want? Since we're, we were planning on doing the barbecue on this day, but they changed it to Sunday. So, we'll figure it out. Alright, I'll be back later. Okay, so Jeff chose three things for day number three. Those three pair of shoes. These two, there's nothing really wrong with them. They need to be cleaned up. Um... I mean, they've been worn, but they're not worn out. There's nothing, like, wrong with them. A pair of cleats and a pair of, like, hiking boots. So, we're just going to clean those up and donate those. But this pair, he has worn out. So, they're going to the trash because there's no help for them. I mean, maybe the strings might be good, but that's it. So, those are going to the trash. These are going to get cleaned up and donated to someone. I'm sure some teenager can use those cleats. I think the cleats are a little too small for him, but he doesn't play ball anymore anyway, so that's fine. And he never really did like those because I think they were too narrow for his feet. Um, he has wide feet, so that's the three things for day number three. Okay, so now I have the two packs of ground beef or ground chuck that I'm going to be putting away. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm putting all of it away. I know that I'm going to make um, a meatloaf with one for this week. But I'm still going to go ahead and put it in the freezer because I cook it from frozen and it's fine. Um, the reason why is because I'm not going to be cooking it for a few days. If I was going to cook it tomorrow, I would just put it in the refrigerator. But since I'm not cooking it for a few days, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the freezer. Um, let's see. Tonight... 
I'll be making, I'm going to just go ahead and do the little hamburger sliders. Not exactly like crystal burgers because they're like super thin, but a little thicker than that. I'm going to make like a, I'll show you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make those up, but not cook them yet. And, um, I don't know. Let me go look at the plan again. And while I was filming that, that was weird. Because we were talking and stuff, and I kept getting off track, which is what's happened to me all day. But anyway, I'll be right back. i got to get an onion, too, to put in the meatloaf. Okay, so this is the bowl I'm going to do the meatloaf in. So before I actually get to putting the meat in here or touching the meat or any of that, I'm going to go ahead and cut up my onion, and I'm going to... um. Oh my goodness, that didn't come off. Go ahead and get the things I need in my bowl. Which I need an egg. And I did not get that out yet. But I'll grab one in just a second. I can't get all that off. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put whatever I can in this. So, the meatloaf... And the sliders are the only things I have to worry about, like some certain meal that needs to be shaped some certain way. The rest of them are things like stroganoff and um, chili, I think was one of them. I don't remember. Anyway, not things we need to worry about trying to do a certain way. <laughs> I don't even know if I can speak English today. Go ahead and crack this in here. So I don't have to think about it. I'm going to get rid of this onion peel. So I don't have to think about it either. But once I get all this put away, it's going to be super easy to get things done um, whenever it comes to cooking things. Now, I'm going to cut this pretty small, the onion, um, because Noah likes it better small. So, Jeff and I don't care if it's small or large. I mean, he, Noah doesn't care. He won't say a word. He'll love it and eat it. He doesn't care. He never does complain about it. But he has, whenever I asked him before, he has told me that he would rather have it smaller. So if I can do it, I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm going to put this whole onion in here, though, because I'm thinking I may want to go ahead and make two meatloaves. But if I do that, I'm going to have to get another um, egg just to make me feel better about the whole situation. <laughs> and I'm doing it a little bit different. I usually use like breadcrumbs or crackers or something like that to make the meatloaf. But because we have a lot of croutons, I'm going to crush up some croutons this time to, uh, Jeff's cutting grass too if y'all hear a lot more. But I'm going to use croutons just to, um, make life a little bit easier. Okay. I think I'm done with the cutting board. This I will use to clean the counter after I'm done. Because there's nothing at all wrong with it. I don't usually crack an egg into something else, but I'm going to do it this time. I'm sure they're fine, but, you know, it's always that thought.
Okay, so I'm going to grab a couple things. Grab a little Worcestershire, a little mustard, and ketchup. I don't always do it this way, but sometimes I do. Put a little ketchup in there. And whenever I cook this, I will um, put ketchup on top after it gets a certain doneness. I should have shaken this, but I didn't. Don't tell anybody. It doesn't matter. A little Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire. A little yum yum sauce. It's not really yum yum sauce though. That is an actual thing, so I probably shouldn't call it that. All right, salt. But I'm not gonna put a lot of salt because there's salt in the uh, ketchup, in the mustard, in the Worcestershire sauce, and it's gonna be in the croutons. Because, well, it's already in the croutons. What am I saying? All right, and pepper. Y'all know us and pepper. And this is two meatloaf, so. because like I said they're just sitting there and we have so many we still have some in the pantry too but we have so many that we're not really eating a lot of so I'm just gonna um go ahead and use some of them Probably should use a different rolling pin, but I'm gonna try this one. If I got my big marble one out, it would make it very easy. I have used stuffing to make meatloaf before. I mean, it's just bread. That's what you need is a bread. And nobody here likes it to be like really big, but we want to have it in there. This rolling pin is not working the way I wanted it to. But that's all right. We're not going to complain about it. It's going to be fine. It's not like rolling like my big ones would. I guess I could have got a food processor or something out. All right, that's good enough. We're gonna say that's good. And if I find I need some more, I can easily just take them out of the container and crush up some more. All right. I am going to mix that up just a tiny bit with a spoon because I can and it'll bust the yolks. It smells delicious. And if I didn't already have the slider buns over there purchased, I would go ahead and make the meatloaf tonight, but I don't want to take a chance with those slider buns or the little rolls going bad. All right, I am going to put on a pair of gloves. Oh, hello, P. Just to make it easier, which these gloves are, these are the ones that's too big for me. So, ooh, loud. I have to fight with them a little bit, but it works. It works anyway. I should probably go ahead and get Ziploc bags out too. Let me do that.
this bowl is going to be too small because I wasn't planning on doing two. But I'll make this work too. I always make things work. Or I just swap them. It'll be fine. That's the way I make my meatloaf. And I know everybody does it differently. Some people buy the little packets of stuff. Um, I sometimes make it a little bit different. I do different things to it. It doesn't always have to be the same exact recipe. They don't mind. I don't mind. We're happy with it either way. As long as it tastes good, we're good. I have used the steak seasoning in it. See, my gloves are coming off. Because they're so big. But that's all I could find at the time whenever I was... I needed some and it, because I was running out, so I got what I could buy. Or got what I could find. I didn't have anything else. Sometimes I make these into like meatloaf burgers. I think that's got it mixed all the way through. Come back here, onion. You are not getting away. You are my favorite part. <laughs> I love onion. All right, I'm gonna split this in two. Oh no, that one fell on the floor. Well, can't have that back. Put this half over here. Kind of get this one into the shape I want it in. I could possibly put two in one bag. I may do that just to save a bag. I don't make big meatloaves either whenever I make them. Right, there's that one. This one may be a little bit larger. You better come back here. Dropping them out. I'll just pick them right back up. And before I ever um, cook them, I will put some more salt and pepper on them. I'll set that there for a minute. I'm going to see if I can put both of them into one bag. I believe I can. And then I just take one out the day I want to cook it. Too big of a glue. Alright, put this one in. Yes, it works. and close it up and freeze them just like that. And that's two meals. Actually, it'll be more because Jeff will take some to work, too. There we go. I'll be back. Okay, so this is a little bit over three pounds. It's like almost four. So I'm just going to split it into three sections. One of them's going to be a little bit larger. It'll be for something like you know, a bigger, something that needs more meat or whatever, and that's fine. I could split it into four, but I'm not going to. Get all that meat. 
weeks. And then there. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all how I flatten out my meat to, I've shown y'all this before, but how I flatten it out to um, freeze it, to thaw it faster and everything, I just smoosh it, which normally the bags don't have this extra little bit of whatever down here, but these are those Walmart bags, which actually work pretty good, so they have that extra whatever you call it down here the little they're supposed to stand up flat or whatever but I don't care now he's got the leaf blower going but I just flatten it out as much as I can that way it thaws faster and it freezes faster or it freezes and then thaws faster Sorry, didn't mean to make all that noise. But that's what I do. I just flatten it out. I remember my mama, she used to save like bread bags and bun bags and all that stuff. And that's what she froze hers in. She never bought Ziploc bags. I didn't even know what those were until I went to a sister's house. This is the one that's got a little bit more in it. It'll be for like Sloppy Joe's. In fact, I probably should write Sloppy Joe on this. Let me do that. This is only for kitchen. I have two of them in here. Nobody is allowed to take it anywhere else. It's just for kitchen stuff. This one would be for like spaghetti or something because it's smaller. Unless I made meatballs. Uh, which I could still make meatballs with it. But we don't usually do the ground beef like we used to. We usually just do meatballs. So there's that. And I'll put this one on the bottom. Because it's bigger. I'm going to put them in the freezer and I'll be back. Okay, so for the sliders, for now... I'm going to take this. Hopefully, I kept myself enough. If I didn't, I'll make some ham sliders or something. I'm going to split this in half. Split it in half again. Then I'm going to split it into three. Half. And then three. And then what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to ball it up. And then whenever I start to cook it, I'll flatten it out. Not a big deal. But for now, I'm going to ball it up and then I'm going to wrap this really, really, really good in some saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator until time to cook dinner. And I'll show y'all how I'm going to do these. They're not going to be any special. It's just like a little hamburger. Um... They're not, you know, any kind of special recipe or anything. I'm going to just do, like, that one's a lot bigger. But that's okay. I'm going to put some, the onion soup mix in it. I may use some of that beefy onion soup that I made. Uh, just to get it used. That's what I'm going to do, probably. The homemade beefy onion soup mix. I made it for a recipe, but I cannot remember what it was for. I think it was a Salisbury steak. Yes, it was. Salisbury steak and potatoes. Oh, I need to make that again. It was so good. Oh, this one's really tiny. I'm going to steal some of that one. Just borrow a little bit of it. Hopefully, it's actually ground chuck and it won't cook away completely. Alright. 
So I'm going to wrap those with saran wrap, clean up my mess. I'm going to wash my hands before I touch saran wrap, though. I want to wrap it really well all the way around so there's no chance of anything coming out. But it's still going to be in the meat drawer anyway, like where that we put things to thaw. So there'll be nothing that it can contaminate anyway. There's nothing else in there now. things with meat I want y'all to tell me if y'all do this I wipe it one time then I spray it again and I let it sit for a little bit and then I wipe it again that's supposed to be the antibacterial kind so I'm hoping it actually does what it says but I'll come back and wipe that again in a few minutes but y'all won't see it I'll do it without y'all Okay, so I have a little bit of oil in this just because things stick and I don't want that to happen and maybe it won't if I have the oil in there. I don't know. And I've got the meatballs out that I'm going to turn into the burgers. Jeff said we can just have chips and dip with it. I'm fine with that. said that will work for me now this is that uh, well it's not all of that that I had made it's some of that that I had made for uh, here's some more of it here that stroganoff I just made a big batch because that's the recipe I had so I've got the oil here and I'm gonna go ahead and just flatten these as flat as I can make them and the reason why I'm gonna make them as flat as I can make them is because they will like come back together and thicken up and stuff and it is gonna be thin but that's okay and it won't take long to cook these either and I'm just gonna do a few at a time Sweaty. They're not going to be perfectly shaped, but we don't care about that either. Oh, now my battery's dying. Oh, boy. I have changed that in a minute. But I'm doing this first. Better doing it that way. Got it down a little bit faster. Alright, so now I'm gonna wash my hands real quick and then I'm gonna put some of this seasoning in there. I may have it turned up too high too. Uh, Tell Noah to come get his clothes off the bed, uh, table. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on here, and I'll put a little bit on each, you know, all of them. And I need a spatula. Whenever I flip them over, 
I'm going to squish them down a little bit. Now, I wouldn't do that normally with any other burger, but with these, I want them to be flat as I can get them. Smell good already. And I'm just going to cook them that way until they're all done. I'm going to go ahead and flatten some of these so whenever it comes time to put them in there, it'll be faster. Actually, I could probably put one in the middle there. That's what, six in there? Well, yeah, I can put six at a time. I'm going to swap out the battery and I'll be back. Flip it a little bit. These might end up too small. I don't know. They are shrinking more than I thought they were going to. These are the rolls we're going to use. Um, I had ordered a different kind, but these were a substitution. I don't think I said that whenever I did the... Did I show you all the stuff I got from Walmart? I don't remember. These things popping everywhere. And they are shrinking more than I thought they were going to, for sure. There's nothing I can do about that. We'll do these like, well, I was going to steam the bun some, or the rolls, but I have to be, oh, great. Should have put on an apron. I don't want to mess up this shirt. I've got a couple that I've already got, like, oil stains on from cooking. Anybody's still hungry with that other food. <laughs> Alright, 
So that's all they're gonna do is just cook up. Um, I'm not gonna steam the uh, rolls because I don't know. I'm just not. I'm just gonna cut them in half and let everybody let Jeff and Noah and myself just build our burgers and be done. I'll show you when everything's done though. Like, I guess the table. I don't know. Okay, so for these, I'm just gonna cut them in half like this and just put them on the plate. Jeffrey. I know I just heard him. Maybe he didn't come out there. But I'm just going to put them on the plate so that whenever we make our little burgers, they'll be ready. I'm not even cutting all the way through some of them. They're falling apart. A couple of them got smooshed whenever they delivered them. There we go. That's done. Okay, so we got chips there, mustard, there's some chips left in there, pickles, and I did grab a couple of these uh, burgers out of the freezer and just cook those up because these shrunk so much. And we got the rolls or buns, cut up a little tomato, got some cheese, and there's our dip. And Jeff has the spoon. So that's what we're having for our dinner tonight. Okay, so um, I'm going to have Jeff, no, Noah empty the dishwasher. I'm not going to worry about that at my, tonight myself. Um, he can do that. And then we're not going to do anything else tonight. I'm going to shower. And Jeff's already had his shower and I don't know what Noah's doing. He can shower if he wants to or whatever. I don't know. He might have already today. I have not kept dibs on him. <laughs> anyway, that is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, not a lot going on today. It's, well, there's a lot going on, but not that I shared, I guess. Um, Jeff got the grass cut. There's still a little bit of cleaning up to do in the backyard. And I asked him, did he want me to help? He said no, because I was doing inside things. <laughs> so, that is all I have for today. We got rid of our three things. And like I said yesterday, we had a TV that we gave away. We haven't actually given it away yet, but it's going. Um, so, tomorrow is the 4th. My tomorrow is the 4th. Your fourth is already gone. <laughs> but I will see you guys next time. Um, I had meant to tell you happy fourth in my other video. But yeah, I forgot over the weekend. It was the weekend vlog that you saw on the fourth. But anyway, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and do all the YouTube things. If you don't know what those things are, you can go ahead and ask me down in the comments. But most importantly, I would like for you to let me know how you are in the comments. Um, because I really want to know. I'm not just saying that. That's not just something I say. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels. And be sweet. <laughs>